Hey everyone, Insanity here and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. Today, I will show you guys how to make a furnace array. If you don't know what is a furnace array, it is essentially a set of furnaces that will spread up items faster than a regular furnace. My furnace array design is rail based, so it has a lot of rails inside it and it has 64 furnaces inside it. So if you want to spread up a stack of items, you can just wait for 10 to 20 seconds to finish it all up. So we are here on top of the platform where we're gonna smelt or where we're gonna put the items to be smelted and the items used for fuel. If you notice that there's some things that have changed, most noticeable is this platform over here that I made it pretty um little prettier than the past one. Is that a word? Yeah. That's a word. Is that a sentence? I don't know. So when I flick this lever over here, the micro toppers from afar will go towards us and it will get two stacks of uh, of the sand and two stacks of the coals. So if you flick this lever, you can see that the micro topper will kick into action and we try to get um, two stacks each, right? And also here, what happened here? I don't know, let's fix that. I don't know what happened there, so if you flick this lever again, let's see. There will be a problem. Okay, I don't think there's a problem. Yeah, yeah. there's no problem anymore. Let's see these. Um, two stacks and two stacks. So every time the hopper or every time the hopper will go from here to there, it will get 64 or two stacks of 64 items. Okay, good. So what happens here is whenever I flick this lever, this redstone line will send a redstone signal to this micro topper over here, right? So the micro topper will be sent off to this direction, and the micro <laughs> the micro topper will go to this detector rail over here, and it will trigger a redstone pulse, right? And the micro topper will sit here and waiting to be get launched off again. And because of this delay over here, the Minecraft Hopper will get a stack, a perfect stack, um, from this chest over here. And after 3 to 5 ticks, it will be launched off and it will distribute the items to these furnaces over here. And the number of furnaces over here is 32, so when the Minecraft Hopper reaches here, the remaining items in the Minecraft Hopper will be 32. So if this is on, right? We because I flick the because I turn the lever off, the minecart hopper is um this minecart rail or what you call this part rail is turned off. No 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 no. Why did you do that? Uh, give me this? No no stop 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 smell. Oh no. Uh okay. Where am I? Oh. The micro topper reaches the end and it will have 32 cents remaining and if this is turned on the power drill will if the power drill is turned or powered what what the power drill is powered hmm so when the power this power drill is powered which is not powered right now the micro topper will be sent off again to this direction and it will be get emptied as soon as it arrives to this detector rail and the process will be uh, repeated again so the reason why this power rail over here is slanted like this it is because sometimes the power the micro toppers will try to bump to each other right so in my experiments or in my testings or yeah experiments um i found out that this setup right here will avoid that problem so yeah also i forgot to mention that the um the system of picking up the smelted items is just a line of hopper going to the middle and there's a problem with that because the speed of the hoppers is not fast enough to deliver the first set of items before the second items arrives so whenever so whenever the second arri uh, second um items are smelted the first items like right over here is not yet delivered to the chest so there will be an overflow problem like right to this point 
and there are some solutions in YouTube that will fix this problem but I'm just too lazy to apply it to this first array because this first array almost took me a year to develop to those people who don't want to follow the tutorial there will be a world download in the description below if you don't want to you know follow the tutorial <laughs> also subscribe to me to more for more videos like this and also like the like the like like, like just like like the video if you like me so first of all put two double chests like this and hoppers on the side of it and now we're gonna count 32 times so one two three To the 8, to the 9, 30, to the 1, 32. Uh, and do it to this side also. Now put furnaces on top of this. What's wrong with the mouse? Put furnaces on top of the hoppers, except for these two over here. And next is put hoppers like this. Also, hoppers at the back of the um, furnaces. Power rays on top of the hoppers. Looks like this. There's a problem with my mouse, so. I've got a bad day with this tutorial and do it at the other end now from here you get to count one two three four five six seven eight nine and you get to place your redstone block there and also one two three four five six seven eight nine and do it on the other side as well well let's do it right now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kill one day trader. Now do something like this. Alright. And starting from here, count fifteen blocks and fifteen redstone dust on top of those blocks. And do something like this. Again. Um, my mouse is going cuckoo repeater um, 15 again two. now do it to the other side as well now let's go to the rail part and do something like this and here also and let's do a T shape there there and here do something like that and here also let's do something like here one two one one and two put slabs here and there and put uh, the deck rail regular rail regular rail hard rail power rail here here and here okay and now you can just flip up the thing so at the other side as well where you gotta do something like this that like the rail power rail or rail just regular rail rail or rail or rail um rail or rail regular rail or rail or rail destroy and done do something like this there one two three over there press on dust repeater in three ticks repeater in four ticks four ticks four ticks press on dust four ticks four ticks four ticks four ticks and four ticks do it on the other side as well do it as well as to the other sides now we got something like this now put chairs above here and here eh. and now put a block here a lever and lastly minecart hoppers over here and here here and here this chest is for items to be smelted and this chest is for items used for fuel now let's test if all of these are working so we got a um, row of coals here and a full double chest of sand let's flick the lever we should see that the minecart hoppers will go to the middle and it will get two stacks of sand and two stacks of coal it's all working 
If you want more storage, you do something like this because this can keep up with the speed of the minecart hoppers getting the items from the double chest. So if you got only two hoppers, two chests, two hoppers, two chests, it will not be fast enough to um, to fill this double chest. So you, just, you need a setup like this. So yeah. I think that's all. Me now say bye bye. You press like button. Subscribe for more. Bye.